Hi, I'm tasting the 2019 vintage of the Chateau La Ville Sautern. So this is a dessert wine, one of the most famous dessert wines in the world, Sautern. So we're in France, specifically we're in Bordeaux, and specifically within Bordeaux, we're in the region of Grave, which is south of the city of Bordeaux. And within Grave, we're in the region of Sautern. So Sautern is almost always a blend based on Semillon, Sauvignon Blanc, and Muscadel. We have all three of those grape varieties represented in this bottle with 85% Semillon, 13% Sauvignon Blanc, and 2% Muscadel. So these are very gravelly soils. Um, now, what makes this special though, because we could have a bottle of Sauvignon Blanc from other places or a bottle of Semillon from other places, but it's not going to taste like this. And that is because this is what's called a botrytized wine. It's affected by something called botrytis in the vineyard, which is a noble rot. Don't be afraid of this word. I know rot sounds scary, but it's actually a specific kind that attacks the grape skins and it actually concentrates the sugars and the acidity within the grape. It takes really, really special weather conditions for this to happen. So we need kind of misty, damp mornings, but then we need the sun to come out and warm everything and, and dry it out in the afternoon. And because it's really relies on that weather condition, it can't be made every year. Now, because these epitritis is affecting these clusters, you can't, the grapes are all going to be in sort of a different condition, which means you can't just harvest whole clusters. When you're harvesting, you have to individually pick out the berries. So this, of course, must be done by hand. And it can't just be done all at once. They do several what they call tries or passes through the vineyard to get them right at the exact moment in time that they want them. So this makes Sautern some of the most labor intensive, and in many cases, very expensive wines in the world. So let's taste it. It's obviously golden in color. I mean, this is so beautiful on the nose. I kind of want to just wear it as perfume. It's just honey and marmalade and fresh apricots and ginger and spice. It's so, so gorgeous. Let's taste it. So what I'd like to point out about these styles of wine, so term, is this has a lot of sweetness, right? This is a distinctly sweet wine. My mouth is still watering. It has that acidity as well. So the sugar and the acid kind of balance each other out. I call this pretty full bodied, maybe medium plus. Um, it's got a, I'm, I'm, it's got one of those finishes that almost gets better as I go. Um, the longer I'm sitting here, I'm sort of noticing new things. There's a little bit of sort of vanilla clove coming out on the finish, um, almost like um, a dried pineapple note, just overall so, so gorgeous. This is a wine that certainly you can pair with dessert. Um, a classic would be something like a fruit tart. You could do this with a sharp cheese like Roquefort, but I've heard of some crazy pairings, like even from some very famous winemakers who will pair Sauternes with oysters, something I've never tried, but if you're feeling adventurous, enjoy.